Lene and I am back with another vlog. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe. Yada yada yada. Bada bada bada. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into this vlog. So for this vlog, I am doing. Uh, first of all, I don't know if I'm gonna post this vlog, but um, I am doing a praise dance for the first time in like three years. Um, I called myself taking a hiatus break. Well, actually, I, I thought I was gonna retire, and <laughs> that was not what the Lord saw fit for me to do. So, I am dancing for the first time in a very long time, and it is literally taking a lot out of me mentally and physically just to get spiritually like, prepared to do it. So, I thought I would vlog the experience because I don't think I've ever seen like a, a praise dance vlog in a way and excuse my polo i just got out of work and i'm gonna take my shower yet which is why i'm not on the bed so yeah but i thought i would vlog the experience just to take you through it with me so i'll be back after i take a shower hold on so i'm back from my shower and i can't remember where i left off but um just in case anyone doesn't know i thought about this when i was in the shower um, if you don't know what praise dance is, it's basically liturgical dance. Um, I'll put the definition of liturgical dance somewhere. Boom, I inserted it. Um, but liturgical dance is basically a way of showing a form of worship um, to God. You know how like pastors preach, singers sing, um, and the choirs and the praise teams. I actually do like liturgical dancing in in all i just call it praise dancing because that's the easiest name for it when you think about it um i do not do miming i literally just do the liturgical part which i feel like i would be a bomb mimer if i really try like i feel like i could some mimers hit me up if y'all want to see my skills but yeah I'm, I'm a praise dancer i'm a liturgical dancer um i used to dance on a dance team Few years ago i have not danced since we basically kind of retired our dance team but we're gonna make a comeback because the last time we danced we didn't know it was gonna be the last time we danced but that's a whole different boat of stuff but like i told you beforehand this is my first time dancing in a very long time like i can't remember the last time i performed in front of like a crowd like i've been dancing like in my living room to myself because like my form of my way of worship my form of worship is praise dancing that's why i feel like i could I can give God like all the glory that he deserves. Like that's just my my form to show him that, you know, I'm grateful and I'm thankful for everything that he does. And I'm just, you know, thankful for him, just being him alone. Um, so like I stated before, I don't know if I said, but I'm very, very nervous. And the church that I'm dancing at is basically having like a program for singles. And I was asked to dance at the program. And I was kind of skeptical at first because it's been so long since I, I danced. And I didn't know if I was mentally ready, mentally ready or like spiritually ready. And, you know, something in my mind or something was definitely God. But just do it. Like, do it. So... That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do it and we're gonna see what happens. If I do terrible, then that's just that. If I do a good job, then that's just that. But at the end of the day, I gave God all the glory and the praise. So, so yeah, that. I just finished my Bible playing reading and also my scripture reading for my dance. And when I tell you, it don't take much to make me feel convicted sometimes reading the Bible. Like, let me tell y'all about this verse. First Timothy uh, chapter four, verse 14. Do not neglect your gift, which was given to you through prophecy, when the body of elders laid their hands on you. And it made me remember how many elders, I mean, I don't have that many elders that have laid hands on me, but who have laid on, hands on me because of my gift and how they wanted me to expand upon my gift and truly use it to God and how I just took that little break for a few years. I thought I wouldn't go dance. I thought my time dancing was done and then here I am. So I'm just like, what a better perfect verse for today than this Bible plan. The Bible plan is actually, I don't know if y'all can see it, but uh, y'all can't see it. It's called gifting and growth and it is a three-day devotional and i started it today but yeah i just had to tell y'all that because i was very convicted 
after reading that scripture and just the entire plan in general. Let's say all of that to say, if you have a gift and you know God has called on you to walk in that gift, don't walk away from it. Walk to it and use it. Use it for God's glory. Use it to fight your battles. Use it to fight other battles, other people's battles. Because one thing I forgot is that you never know who is waiting on you to use your gift. You're supposed to be saving folks out here with your gift. But if you're not using it, you're not saving folks. You're not doing what God has called us to do. Well, not called us, but called you to do. But I just thought I would say that because, I mean, that's how I feel. Not that's how I feel, but that's literally reality. All right, I'm going. So, y'all, don't mind the room because I'm in my childhood room, but it is currently 11.44 p.m. on Saturday, August 20th, and I danced today for the first time in like two or three years, and it went well. I was going to say it went better than I expected, but I have full faith in God that he was going to bring me through it. Before I got up there, I said, Lord, sit your nation down and just let your ministry, your word, run through my ministry, and... I just gave it my my all. It wasn't my best, but I gave my all for what I could at this point. It's going to get better, but I think this was a, a good start. And I'm so grateful for friends and, and people who barely know me for pushing me. If it was not for them, I wouldn't be where I am. But I'm just very grateful. Uh, the spirit truly failed tonight at the service, so I'm kind of still up there but my friend did film so i may add some snippets i don't even know how i did but if i like the video i'll add some snippets in this vlog but thanks for watching my what did i call this my come praise dance with me vlog or prep praise dance preparation vlog i don't know we're gonna figure this out because I'm gonna do more of these and when my dance group gets back together they don't know it yet but we're blocking this experience because somebody needs to see the preparation that it goes that goes forth when it comes to what we do because not many people understand um and also not many people in churches get praise sense like you know you hear of singing you hear of preaching that's about it but not many people discuss how powerful praise dance can be but it's not that prevalent in a lot of churches but we gonna get there but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my channel it's joe Lene, and i hope you all are blessed and a holly favorite amen um and come back to my channel in time comment like subscribe do all of that stuff that they tell the youtube people to do but yeah talk to y'all later